Welcome to this configured terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. We're going to look at the configuration and basic setup of Routing Information Protocol or RIP. Please look at our other videos for more complicated configurations. This is the topology that we're going to use. We're going to configure four routers, router 1, router 2, router 3 and router 4 to communicate using RIP. Each router has a loopback configured. The FOST Ethernet 00 interfaces will connect router 1 and 2 as well as router 3 and 4 and then a serial interface will connect router 2 to router 3. So on router 1 if I do the command show IP interface brief you can see that no IP addresses have been configured. So on the FOST Ethernet interface we'll configure the IP address 10.1.1.1 with the mask, create the loopback which in this case is quadruple one. That means our IP addresses are configured. To configure RIP on the router, in global configuration mode you type the command router RIP and then you specify the command network. This command has two functions. It enables RIP on any interface that falls within that network command. So in other words, this interface, FOSS Ethernet 00, has an IP address of 10.1.1.1, which is a subnet of the 10 network. So RIP will be started on the FOSS Ethernet 00 interface. RIP will not be started at the moment on the loopback interface because we haven't configured the network command for network 1. RIP will also advertise any networks that fall within this range to neighboring routers. So in other words, the network 10.1.1.0 would have been advertised to another router if another router was connected to router 1 on another interface. So for argument's sake, if we had another FOST Ethernet interface on this router F01, router 1 would advertise this network 10.1.1.0 to that router connected on the other interface. So if we do the command show IP RIP database, you can see at the moment that we have a directly connected network 10.1.1.0/24 in the RIP database. In other words, RIP knows about this network. There's also an automatic summary, RIP version 1, which is what's enabled by default on a Cisco router. Notice when I type show IP protocol or show IP protocols, the default version that we're sending is version 1. Notice on this interface F0 slash 0, but we will receive both version 1 and version 2 routes. At the moment we are routing only for network 10.0.0.0. So to enable RIP on the loopback, we type the command router RIP network, and in this example I'm going to type it as follows, but notice what happens. When we type do show run, section router rip notice in global config mode under the rip process it's been changed to 1000 because this is a class A network so this is essentially how you configure basic rip on a router we're going to do something similar on router 2 router 2 has three interfaces fast ethernet 00 serial 1 slash 0 and a loopback interface. So at the moment, show IP interface brief, you'll notice that there are no IP addresses on the interfaces. So on the first fast Ethernet interface, let's give it an IP address as per the diagram, and I'll no shut the interface. Do the same on the serial interface, IP address 10.1.2.1, and no shut it, create the loopback. So show IP interface brief, you can see my three interfaces are configured and you can see that they up up. So the IP addresses have been configured successfully. I'm going to go into global config mode, type router rip network 10.0.0.0 which will enable rip on both these interfaces and then type network 2000 show IP RIP database shows me that RIP 
is enabled on network 2 as well as network 10. You can see here we've actually learnt a route already from 10.1.1.1. So once again, show IP protocols. You can see that we are routing for network 2 and network 10. RIP is enabled on FOSS Ethernet 00, Serial 10 and the loopback. Typing the command show IP route shows me my routing table. You can see that we have learnt one route through RIP. It's a summary route. The reason why, once again, is RIP version 1 is a classful routing protocol. This is a class A network, but it's network 1. This is another class A network, but network 10. So router 1 automatically summarizes this route when sending the update to router 2. I'll show you how to change that behavior once we've got this network working. But as an example, notice on router 2, we can ping router 1. Now let's configure router 3. It's also got three interfaces. So typing the command show IP interface brief, you can see that no IP addresses have been configured. So on the fast Ethernet interface, we're going to set up IP address 10142. The, the loopback is IP address quadruple 3. And the serial interface is IP address 10.1.2.2. .2. Just to confirm that, Notice 10.1.2.2. I'll no shut that interface. No shut the FOSS Ethernet interface. Show IP interface brief. You can see my interfaces are up, up. Show IP route shows me that we only have directly connected networks in the routing table because RIP hasn't been enabled yet. So in global config mode, I can type the command router RIP. Network 10.0.0.0, network 3.0.0.0. So show IP protocols. You can see that RIP has been enabled on these three interfaces, and we're advertising these two networks. Show IP RIP database. Shows me that I'm learning routes already. Show IP route. You can see routes in my routing table. We've learnt about network 1 through RIP via 10.1.2.1, which is router 2's serial interface. So on router 3, we learnt about this network from router 2. Router 2 is our next hop to get to network quadruple 1. So I could ping quadruple 1 as an example, and it succeeds, and I can ping quadruple 2. I'll just turn off DNS. queries so that tracing goes a lot quicker. So we'll trace route quadruple one. And notice it goes to 10121, the IP address of router 2's serial interface, and then it goes to 10 triple one, which is the IP address of router 1. So thus far, the RIP configuration is working correctly. Let's configure the last router, router 4. So show IP interface brief. No IP addresses have been configured. On the FOST Ethernet interface, we'll configure IP address 10.1.4.1. No shut the interface. Create the loopback interface. You can see that the IP addresses have been configured and the interfaces are up. Show IP route shows us only directly connected networks because we're not running a routing protocol yet. Show IP protocol shows me no routing protocols are enabled. So in global config mode, type router rip network 10.0.0.0 network 4.0.0.0. Show IP route or rather show IP route, still shows me only directly connected interfaces because I need to give RIP time to converge and advertise routes. 
As you can see there, we have learned various routes, including 1, 2, and 3. You can see as an example that network 1 is 3 hops away. Network 2 is 2 hops away. Network 1 is 1 hop away. So the 3 is the hop count or distance to a remote network. From router 4's point of view, to get to this network, it needs to hop over one, two, three routers to get to that network. 120 is the administrative distance, which is the believability factor of a route. The lower the number, the more believable a routing protocol. EIGRP, for instance, has an administrative distance of 90 because EIGRP is more believable than RIP. The next hop from router 4's point of view is 10.1.4.2. So in other words, for router 4, to get to this network, router 4 needs to go via this interface on router 3. Once again, I'll turn off DNS queries and then I'll trace route to quadruple 1. As you can see there, we are tracing via router 3, then router 2, then router 1. And the trace succeeded. As an example, I could also ping quadruple 1. Now, notice the routes are being summarized. This is a summary route. As mentioned, when going across a classful boundary, in other words, when going across a major network, let's say one A network to another, classful routing protocols will automatically summarize. So router 4 is automatically summarizing this network to the classful boundary. So slash 24 network is automatically summarized to slash 8 because this is a class A network. To change that behavior on the routers, you type router rip. You have to change the version to version 2. Rip version 2 is a class list routing protocol. It supports manual summarization as well as automatic summarization and it supports variable length subnet masks. So typing the command no order summary turns off the automatic summarization behavior of RIP. You can do the same thing on router 3. Set it to version 2. Turn off summarization. And notice if we type the command show IP route you can see that network 4440 is now displaying in the routing table. We are also seeing 4000 slash 8. I'll clear the routing table to refresh the information. And notice we are getting that specific network and not the summary. Other routes have been removed from the routing table. Let's go on to router 2, router rip, version 2, no order summary, and do the same on router 1. Set it to version 2, no order summary, clear the routing table, and hopefully in a short period of time we should have all the routes there. As an example, notice we are now displaying 2220, in other words, slash 24, for the various routes. Some of the tables need to be updated. But after a period of time, the routes will update. And we won't have the summarized routes in the routing table. So as an example, on router 1, we are only receiving this network, not the summary network. Sending of traffic will not be affected in this topology but in other videos I will show you issues related to automatic summarization and why you want to turn off automatic summarization I'll also show you how to configure variable length subnet masks rather than only having a single subnet mask on all networks in this example all networks have a slash 24 mask which might not be ideal for some topologies. 
That concludes the short video demonstrating the configuration and basic setup of Routing Information Protocol or RIP. In this video, I demonstrated the use of the network command, show IP RIP database command, show IP route, and I explained a little bit about auto summarization and the use of RIP version 2. For detailed information, please go to our website, configuredterminal.com, where we have multiple packages, including full training for CCNA and CCENT. I'm David Bombal, CCIE 11023. Thank you for watching and all the very best with your studies.